slides i'll share no problem yeah i will just uh, it is difficult for you no no this uh, introduction part is there uh, no i will just go okay. part Yeah, so uh, is it visible to everyone, right? Uh, so, sir, shall we start with the session? Yeah. Yeah, Madhupal. <laughs> Fine. Uh, so, very good morning to you all. Uh, so, today we have a webinar session on stress management. So, we have uh, uh, Dr. Vishnu Kangralkar, sir, principal from Sri J G C H S College of Pharmacy, Gataprabha, Karnataka. So on behalf of Anasab Dangi College of Pharmacy, sir, I welcome you, uh, welcome once again. So before going with this uh, session, let me introduce a uh, guest of today's uh, function. So coming to the uh, qualification of sir, sir have did his graduation, that is bachelor in pharmacy in 1998 from Maratha Mandal College of Pharmacy, Belgaum. Sir have did his post graduation in pharmacology in 2005 from Kaili College of Pharmacy, Belgaum from RGUHS University. Sir, I completed his PhD in 2015 in pharmacology subject. Apart from that, sir, is having a membership. So he's working as a nominee for CPCSEA, Government of India Animal Welfare Division. And he have different lifetime membership, such as Indian Pharmacological Society. He's associated with Association of Pharmaceutical Teacher of India, Indian, Pharma Indian Physiology and Pharmaceutical Society, Chinmay Machine. And apart from this, he is having additional qualifications, such as he is working as a yoga teacher from Yog Vidyadham Nashik. He have did his PG diploma in yoga from Rasi University, Belgaum, as well as he is, uh, did his uh, MS in yoga from Anamali University. So he is also having a good knowledge of uh, acupressure, where he, uh, he has did his MD in acupressure. Coming to his teaching experience, sir, ha sir is having 22 years of uh, teaching experience. Presently, sir is working as a uh, principal and professor in Sri JG Cooperative Hospital Society College of Pharmacy in Ghataprabha from 15 July till then. So this is all the short introduction of today's guest of honor. So I request uh, sir to uh, start with his uh, uh, webinar, sir. Please, sir. I'll stop my uh, sharing. You can share from your side, sir. Thank you, Guru, sir. Um... It's my honor to uh, be here with your students and staff members. Uh, I would like to um, first thank all the faculty, um, the institution management committee, principal, staff, and students of uh, ADC Piashta for inviting me and giving a chance to share my views on uh, today's topic. I have selected this topic, uh, stress management, uh, because everyone uh, is under stress now. The condition is uh, stressful so we should know what exactly the stress is and uh, how we can manage this see day-to-day -day life also everyone uh, we will be having the stress and that's why um, I have selected something different from my topic but uh, moreover I'm a pharmacologist uh, so I will be uh, giving more uh, uh, work on the uh, pathophysiology part of that and um, then we we'll, can see uh, some about uh, um, some about theory about this also. So um, we'll start with the session. Uh, just I'll share my slides. Okay. Uh, happy morning to one and all. Uh, myself, Dr. Vishnu Kangarakar, the uh, principal and professor from uh, Sri JT CHS College of Pharmacy, Gautam Prabha. Um, Today's topic, as everyone knows, that is a stress management. Everyone is under stress. So who is uh, without stress? Uh, father of stress researcher, uh, Hans Tiling, he told that the only person without stress is a dead person. So you can assume that a dead person means without a life, a person is having uh, without a stress. Otherwise, everyone, we are under the stress. So it may be positive also, it may be a negative also. In by the stress. There are so many definitions, so many researchers have given definition. Yeah, 
just feeling of a person uh, towards the external pressure. So we can have a, just a simple definition. Stress is the body's response to any physical or emotional changes in our life. So how you will react. So there are some of the another things where you can explain. You cannot define that, but we can explain that. A necessary part of our daily lives or uh, think or react. Uh, excuse me, sir. It's a little bit uh, a disturbance in voice. Actually, voice is uh, sorry. Your voice is not audible in between. Hello. Yeah, so in between okay, voices okay, is getting, okay. yeah, now we're getting, sir. Yeah, carry on, sir. Yeah. I think so because of notifications in that uh, phone. Mm -hmm. uh, so, stress may be a simple or extreme, but we call as a stress only. Uh, it is uh, necessary in order to force us to accomplish certain tasks, or without stress, our bodies would not react at all even in times of extreme danger. So we need, uh, sometimes we need stress also for doing some activities or so we think that stress is negative point. So uh, stress, how it affects us differently. See, uh, every as I told that every person is having its own uh, ability to cope up with stress. So we are having the different uh, things the first one is uh, tension, anxiety, nervousness, the worry or fear of the unknown and things we cannot control. Uh, for example, today's situation, everyone is anxious about that. Uh, day starts with the media. Immediately you will open the app and you will see how much cases are there. So we are having the anxious towards what is going on. That anxiety causes nervousness, will fear, worry. Fear is there of some persons, it's not that everyone is having fear towards the uh, today's situation. So can you imagine another situation, such as situations in your life, students? See, usually the fear will be there during the exam sessions. Suppose exams are there immediately. Uh, Uh, sir, uh, there is little bit, you know, a voice is not coming from your side. People will take more stress and they will do that same work. Like for example, when you're doing practicals, usually you can see the girls, students are there. They will take it very seriously. Whereas the boys, they won't take seriously. They will just go on. What others are doing, that they will do. So there the stress is not there. But one person in the whole class, he will take more stress. He will go into depth and he will start. So this is another way how the stress will affect. Next is positive when kept in imbalance. Suppose if it is a balance is kept between the stress which you are having from the both the sides, then it is a positive. Otherwise, it's difficult. I'll take the example of students only. In the students, the parents will tell not to use the mobile, but they want to use the mobile. So they have to use the mobile. At the same time, they have to do the studies also. So this is what they have to have a balance between the stress, which is from the both the sides. The one which is from the college, they have to do the everything. And another one, which is from the parents. So what they like, that they cannot do. See? So what they will do, they wanted to do the balance in between that. Now also you can see so much of the things are going on. They wanted to play the games and other things also. But still we are having the pressure that we have to study. So how they will do? They will keep on positive. No, I will do this also and I will do this also. So this balance is very much required. So such things are there. We, everyone will face such type of the things. Either naturally they will have some of the stress. They will have the balancing. So you just imagine till in your life how many times this type of stress has come. So now we'll see for the causes of stress. So many causes are there. So um, if 
if i'll tell the uh, different situations you will come to know what things are there but uh, in book if you go you will not get a single pause just word will be there as stress see so it is the word which is there in all the books but causes are more so we'll just divide this causes into two types one is external causes and one is internal causes this we call the stressors the stress giving points are called as a stressors so they may be one is externally and one may be internal so which are the external stressors are there physical environment social interaction organizational stressors major life events and daily hassles so we'll go one by one in detail about uh, external stresses the first one physical environment see where we are living we have everything that is the uh, noise is there lights are there heat is there everything the environment which is there but that same environment will not be a uh, peaceful for each person suppose a baby is crying in a home that noise may not be a peaceful for everyone some will be happy he will not say anything he will not react to that another person he will react to that same thing with the mobile phone also okay suppose you are playing games and whatever the sound which is coming one or two persons in the home they will tell oh just uh, reduce that sound see why He is getting stress. Okay. So bright lights, how it will be affecting? See the light which is coming. Everyone will think that. See when uh, bright light comes on the eye, we will think that it is very difficult. So that is also another problem. See same way with the heat also. Some people will like the summer season. Some people will not like the summer season. So it depends on the person to person how it will affect. See next is the confined spaces. See. some may can live in one room kitchen some wants a big that is a, a two bedroom hall kitchen three bedroom hall kitchen so that is a space also matters a lot where he is living so these are the uh, stress factoring factors which are the external one next is social interaction everyone we are coming into the society where you face the different people day to day so every person when you meet you can see how the communication is there the communication may be rude may be opposition or may be aggressiveness so we have to cope up with that when you go in a market to buy something a vendor is having these type of the uh, emotions he will talk in such type of the things so suppose if you react that stress will come to you if you doesn't react then stress will not come to you see sometimes some people they will be taking more stress more stress means they are very anxious about one person suppose one person tells something the whole day he will be thinking on the same thing so such things are going on which will be affecting you a lot see so next is organizational organizational for students you can take as a college for staff members organization is there the college and thing where we are having rules now we can see that uh, wearing of uh, dress code that is a rule which is made and that is affecting as a stress point to some of the students rules which is made by the principal to the staff member rules of the society where we are living that is another problem so such things which are there which will be getting a problem see regulations are there following of regulations see so these this one following of rules and regulations may cause some of the effect see deadlines which are given to complete the assignment complete the task everywhere means now uh, every institution every work they are giving the deadlines we we want this thing should be completed in this particular period so that may be a stressful for a person next is major life events in case of the life we are having the birth and death this is a common which you can see in the family Okay, some uh, births are going on, some deaths are there. Family persons uh, nearby, neighbors or uh, friend circles. Then loss of jobs. See, 
uh, this is uh, commonly we have seen now. Then promotions, uh, during promotion, what we are doing the circus, what we can call to get the promotion or after getting the promotion, what we have to maintain, those all things. Marital status changes, which we can see as a, a different type of the difficulties to adjust with the partner. These all things are the major life events which will cause the stress. Next, daily hassles in that uh, commuting, misplaced keys. Commuting is nothing but uh, going towards uh, long uh, spaces for the job. Keys misplacement, that is a common because everywhere, every time we see that uh, one just for second also while going to the college or uh, any place, if the key is misplaced, then you will be worried. You will be under stress for just short period of the time, just one or two minutes. Immediately it will come, but you are in the, the stress. So such type of the environmental um, external stresses are there. Mechanical breakdowns while going to the any meeting, suppose anything happens in the middle, puncture is there or um, petrol if it is uh, thrown out, something which happens, mechanical th something happens, then it is again a stressful. So these are the stresses which we can see which are coming from external stressors. Now we can see about the internal stresses, how we can get. The one is lifestyle choices, negative self-talk, mind traps, personality traits. One by one we'll go. The first one is uh, lifestyle choices. See, uh, lifestyle choices, as the word choice I have given, choices which you have choice. Okay? It is not that the lifestyle which is given. Now we cannot say that it is an Indian lifestyle or it is from our ancestor, whatever it is coming, that we are following. Every person in a family is having its own lifestyle. And because of this lifestyle, because of the uh, different type of the food habits and other things, that may lead to the stressful life. Second is lack of sleep. So no need to speak on that because um, students late night, they are on the chat. Okay. Then the work pressure which is there, because of that also everyone will be in the uh, lack of sleep. They are not giving that much of the uh, time for sleep. So what we need is seven to eight hours. So that we are lacking. And because of that also stress will come in the next day. Overloaded schedule. In the whole one day, you have to do so many tasks. So that schedule again causes the problem. Next is negative self-talk. Many people nowadays will start our day with the negativity. That we have to stop. We should understand the negativity has started from us only. Suppose you wanted to join the webinar at 11 o'clock. You will start thinking negative. Okay, why to join? Whether I will join or others will let others will join first, then I'll join. Okay? Otherwise, you will think that something that uh, uh, whether it is necessary. So these all things which are negative points which are there, that you will start. This is called as a pessimistic thinking. So you will start thinking about negativity. If you want to write the paper also, you will come with the negative points. How the paper will come or how, how much hard it will be. Usually, the hard work will, word will come. Nobody will say that, no, today's paper will be easy. I have done everything. Everyone will think that, no, I have done this much, but it should come from this only. Then what paper is there? That paper should be, the, it should not be hard. So should not be hard means what? Again, you're talking with the negative. It is for what? It is for yourself. It is not for others you're doing. Self-criticism. This is common. Self-criticizing. Uh, how I... you are you are not a good one you will not look your look is not good then you will say that uh, sometimes you will say that uh, uh, i'm not having that much confidence okay i'm not having that much knowledge my grasping power is not good this is what self-criticism over analyzing you will analyze you will compare with others all the friends always comparison is there in the life that we have to stop. You should not compare. That comes under the negative self-talk. Next is mind traps. See, mind traps is nothing but the unrealistic expectations. Everyone is having expectations on the other. 
even your best friend is there you want to have a even from a teacher you want uh, unexpectations are there see this of which are more expected so that you have to stop whatever it is coming you have to accept taking thing personally this is the second point anything happens suppose one person take uh, does the mistake in a class generally the teacher will tell that you should not do the person who has not done the mistake he will think that the teacher has scolded me means he has taken it personally so that it should not happen all or nothing thinking all or nothing means suppose anything is there you no know, yeah i will do that work or you will tell i will not do first only see before doing that work only you will say that negative that i won't do this it is not possible for me some exaggeration some people will be more existed their enthusiasm there are more enthusiasm that i will do this i will do that and afterwards what they will have some hypothesis in the mind that i will do this much of the things but that will not come into mind okay so conclusion will not be there then rigid thinking this is uh, out of 10 people we can see one pe one person who is having a rigid thinking he will not come his principles are very strong okay he will not uh, mingle with anyone so such friends also you can see okay? so this is all what this will lead to the stress then personality traits in that perfectionist as there work colleagues perfectionist so if you want to do the work in one hour but if you want always that i want to do this it perfectly only whatever it is there like the time goes but i want the work should be done perfect so such if you keep in a mind then the time will go so time is also important when you are doing the work so some perfectionists they will be under the pressure so they they have uh, already set in the mind that i have to do properly then only something will happen same with the workaholics also always they will be doing work one or the other work suppose if you tell them to relax also or if you tell them to just sleep they won't sleep sundays are there that also if you are going to have a um, uh, holidays also they will start doing something something they want the work should be there so that is what that is a purpose personally they are taking so such type of the things also it will cause the um, stress some other causes of stress uh, somebody misunderstands you and um, that uh, misunderstanding leads to so much of the issues that also causes the stress or somebody setbacks your position in the society that also causes a stress so um, we have seen so many stresses where we have seen the negative points so can happy events cause the stress just think whether happy events also cause the stress in one slide i have told that the birth birth of a person whether birth of a person in a family whether it is a unhappy event whether it is a negative event no it's not negative then how the happy event caused the stress suppose a marriage is there a person is going to marry see when a marriage is fixed automatically he will be under stress how it will be how the how i have to do the management okay how i should get there everything after marriage also he will be under the stress so such happy things are there suppose a birth is there so immediately after pregnancy the ladies will start getting they will not think about the positive but they will start getting under the pressure that even the happy event which is coming that they will turn into the negative pressure and that will cause the stress Okay. so everyone in the life we have to think that which is a happy event and we have to think positively to cope up with that so all stresses are not equal first only i told that uh, uh, everyone's mind is different and as everyone minds is different so the stresses are also different how you will take the stress that is important see here uh, there as uh, there is no single level of stress that is optimal for all people some are more sensitive owing to experiences in childhood the influence of the teachers parents and religion etc so everyone according to their mind they are taking the stress now what are the signs of stress as we cannot define the stress signs also cannot define you cannot say that these are the signs so i have divided the signs into how you are feeling in the stresses 
how you will behave and what you will do those all things are noted here so you will come to know whether in your life you are getting stress or not see how you might feel that is one is irritability sometimes you are very irritate aggressiveness impatient or wound up overburdened some people will feel anxious nervous afraid of something like your thoughts are racing and you cannot switch off one thought is there like last slide slide you will think start thinking which are the happy moments and then again you are going means you will not uh, uh, switch over to the next your thoughts are just going on see or you will feel that neglected i am lonely nobody is taking me you are depressed see you are uninterested in life see one person it is lonely or he is depressed he feels that life is nothing okay nothing is there mainly the suicidal case is because of this only like you have lost your sense of humor a sense of dread worried about your health now which situation is there out of 10 people one person will be always worried about the corona what will be there how i how i will be cope up with that okay or you will not unable to enjoy yourself these are the feelings of the stress which you are getting next is how you will behave once you are having the stress how you will behave that can be taken as a signs for the stress finding it hard to make the decisions avoiding situations that are troubling you snapping at the people biting your nails picking at your own skin when you will go for the interview such things will happen usually they will uh, do this unable to concentrate eating too much or too little that you can see in the during the period of the exam you will have the very less eating smoking or drinking alcohol more than the usual if stress is there they will go for such type of the habits restlessness like you can't sit still feeling tearful or crying these are the signs you must be you will be have next is physically affecting signs are there so which will physically affect shallow breathing hyperventilating you, you think that ventilation is not there you uh, even if, even if it's uh, raining outside some people will think that they want a fan okay then you might have a panic attack blurred eyesight sore eyes problem getting to sleep staying asleep or having nightmares tired all the time grinding your teeth or clenching your jaw headache chest pain high blood pressure indigestion or heart burns constipation or diarrhea feeling sick dizzy or fainting okay, so these are the some of the signs of uh, stress now we'll go for the types of stress what are the different types of stress the stress is divided into two types one is called as positive stress and another is negative is called as a distress negative is called as a use stress positive is for getting the challenges and negative is for the getting the threats it may be again called as a acute and chronic how much time the stress is there on that period you can give the type as acute and chronic type of the stress positive stress it enables concentration it increases the performance it energizes you into the action can you get the example of positive stress a teacher gives always the positive stress to the student always whenever a topic is taught he will give some assignment he will give some questions he will take the test this is what to increase your performance enables the concentration suppose he tells to take a seminar which enables your concentration it energizes you into the action you will start reading on that word that is particular uh, topic this is what a positive stress so uh, it is not that stress always it will be negative positive and we should have sometimes positive stress is also needed some motivational things are needed that is what what motivational stress is nothing but somebody pushing you to do some work okay in danger condition also you have to do something where you will come out of that so this is called as a positive stress see you can see that the uh, picture how uh, they are positively hanging up 
Okay. Next is negative stress. They will just think how I will hang. Okay. It's very difficult on a row. Okay. Just they are thinking. So it is a loss of motivation. That is its effectiveness. Physical, mental and behavioral problems are there. So everyone will be having different types of the negative stresses. So major uh, people will be in the negative stress. Next, when people get stressed, what will happen? Now, everyone know that, we know that signs are there. We are getting so many things. But what will happen if you are getting stress? So, there are pathways which is created between the stress and the distress. So, which pathways are there? We are having some of the changes which you can have. So, what changes are there? You can see that. Uh, So we are having the stress once it is uh, getting, there are different types of the changes. The last one is the behavioral changes, a person's behavioral changes that already we have seen what behavioral changes are there, physical activities will change and that will lead to some of the uh, issues or you'll be getting some of the effects on the pathological conditions. The two important uh, pathologies which we will uh, discuss today as uh, we all are uh, pharmacists. So one is uh, CNS activity, that is a uh, sympathetic nervous system activation. And that activation leads to increase in release of catecholamines, epinephrine, norepinephrine, adrenaline. And as we know that adrenaline, fight, fear, okay? So whenever the fight, fear, or uh, you'll be having the fighting, immediately you'll be having release of adrenaline. And effect of adrenaline, that will lead to the increase in the heart rate, breathing, increase in the blood sugar level. So these all things are there. Okay? That is release of the catecholamines. Then second is HP activation. HP is nothing but hypothalamus, pituitary, and adrenal axis. This is HP is an axis which will be uh, activated. So from the hypothalamus, the signals will come to the pituitary gland that to release what? The adrenocorticotropic hormone. So the adrenocorticotropic hormone will release and that will go to the adrenal gland where exactly the cortisol is released. What cortisol does? It will affect on the muscles. It will affect on the lower part of the body. It will affect on the blood flow and that will lead to what? Visceral obesity. So usually you can see the visceral obesity which will be leading to the metabolic syndrome. So many syndromes which are there these uh, syndromes will be getting on uh, this uh, release of the hormones. Okay. So adrenaline, everyone, you can assume that you are having, uh, you are sitting in the exam hall and adrenaline is releasing. Immediately you can get the sweating. All secretions will start. Everyone will be sweating. They feel like urination, palpitation will be there. Okay. They will start getting the deep inhalations. So these all things for what? These all things for the stress, the stress which is causing on our body. Next, appetite changes will be there. You will eat too much or too little. Eating disorders like anorexia, you will not eat, or bulimia, where you will eat more. Increase intake of alcohol and other drugs, increase smoking, restlessness. These all things, fidgeting, nail bite, hypochondria deterioration of personal hygiene and appearance these all you can see you just assume that you are uh, you are the condition is best condition i will give the example of exam only nobody will see about his uh, makeup and other things okay so he always he will be stressed in reading and uh, how the paper tomorrow's paper will be there these situations are there so these all things will cause some of the pathological changes so uh, if you are um, read about the pathophysiology, the first chapter is cell injury, where you will come to know exactly the um, role of stress. Okay? The stress factor will release uh, some of the oxidative um, amines, that is, uh, you will be having oxida oxidative stress, and with that, you will be getting the stress injury. Uh, you will be getting necessant oxygen, which will be free radicals, and those all will uh, try to react on the cell, and cell death will take place. So, this is at the cellular level. But at, uh, if you see the organ level, you'll be getting the cardiovascular disease, immune system disease, asthma, diabetes. Base of all these diseases is what? Cell injury. 
hypoxia is another one if you are not taking breath properly if you are not uh, doing breathing then you will be having less of oxygen that less of oxygen leads to hypoxia then you will be getting hypoxic cell injury so this is all because of the stress that's why if you read any type of the disease in the book just open the causative agents or you can see the causes for this uh, particular disease the first point is stress stress tension anxiety this is given so we should know the stress and then you can easily manage the stress next uh, some of the digestive disorders you will get ulcers you will be having skin complaints are many more psoriasis that headache migraine premenstrual sim symptoms are there then you will be getting depression also so these many things are getting to us then why we should not manage why we want to have the stress on ourselves and change our physiology to pathology so to have the normal physiology we have to manage the stress and it is not at all difficult to manage the stress because it is just something which is coming from outside or something which we have created so if you identify it is very easy so we can change our likelihood to be exposed to the stressor or we can change what we think about the stressor or we can change the way we think about or our coping resources how we can cope with the stresses so the best coper is the individual who know when to use what type of coping means how you will stand in front of the stress that is very important which type of stress is there how you will take and how much you will take inside that will lead to the stress management so stress management we are having a abc strategy the a stands for awareness awareness of what causes you stress so you should aware of the stress factor and how you will react second the b is nothing but the balance you have to balance between the positive and negative stress how much can you cope up with it before it comes to negative first you can take the positively then slowly if it is coming negative then you have to cope up with that but you should have the balance between that the third one category is c control control of yourself what can you do to help yourself to combat with the negative effect of the stress so you have to control yourself you should not overthink on the one which is coming up okay so this is a abc strategy we have divided this uh, stress relief techniques into two parts one is called as a mental technique and another some are the physical techniques so we'll see the mental techniques same the abc strategy only this uh, just given into two parts one is ab uh, this mental and the physical identify the sources of stress in your life so you have to identify first from where the source uh, that is stress is coming the stressor is there so you can stop that okay it is not that you have to take but you can easily stop avoid unnecessary stress see taking the stress of others that is uh, taking some unnecessary like you cannot say no yes so this is suppose if you are having habit everything you will somebody comes and tells you to write the journal you will not say no and you will start that is what unnecessary stress you are taking a neighbor is having some problem you are taking the stress a friend is having problem you are taking the stress an institute is having problem which is not related to you you are taking the stress okay? so that is another thing so first you should uh, think where you should say no how about your limits to accept anything that you should have next is alter the situation so the situation which in which you are there where the stress is there you can easily alter it you can go into the different way suppose a straight road is there that road is causing stress then you can go for the another way there are different ways you have to start you have to think you will get the ideas accept the things which you can't change see this is a major problems which will be having always what we want that only will think or the person who is there a friend is there or parents are there they 
we want they should be to what's us or how we want like that they should think they should talk they should be here so this is not there so you cannot change the other person so if you cannot change the other person you cannot change the society accept that they are like that only so you have to focus next is expect ongoing changes which are going on overall changes now in the society so much changes are there further also so much changes are there so many stages are coming on so these you have to understand maintain a positive attitude see always you should have the positive attitude that is a be assertive i will talk more on this afterwards whenever possible laugh see laughing is the best medicine and now we are not getting that because uh, even if you chat also you will put one smiley but uh, smiley you will just put mechanically but the, on the face you will not get that smile okay the smile is somewhere it is going so if you laugh nature it will give the positive results on all the body parts also so this is another uh, technique next is the physical stress relief techniques are the exercise do proper exercises to energize your body now it is a time which we are getting to do the exercise okay uh, excuses are not there because uh, lots of time is there to uh, schedule your day and uh, do the proper exercise get good sleep you are getting uh, uh, sleep also but that should not be excess also good sleep i have told that is 7 to 8 hours that is a good sleep not too less not too more also eat healthy diet now we know that diet plays a, a very important role to avoid the stress okay so if you are taking the fast foods and other things if you are skipping the meals also if you are uh, taking more diet also that is also causing so much of the problem it should be a nutritious that is what we can call as a balanced diet take a balanced diet take a omega 3 vitamin c and other things to energize you to increase your uh, immune system okay, which will help you see once immune system is uh, increased automatically whatever the stress is there it will not affect on our body the pathological changes you cannot see that's why you should have these all things physical things take a deep breath see this is also uh, not there what we can call in yoga that is um, pranayam we teach only how to breathe see normally what we are breathing that is not accurate one it is not correct nobody is uh, breathing properly you have to inhale properly till the end see so means deep inhalation count three times inhale then slowly you have to release it but we are taking very short breath if you are taking short breath so see when you are doing something if stressful condition is there you will take short breath if short breaths are there what happens oxygen capacity will be less you will not get that much oxygen okay stretching is very important you are sitting for long period of the time in one place and if you are not stretching it will affect the muscles those muscles will be under stress always uh, see in pharmacology we are telling that it is contractions are there and that we have to relax release okay uh, i think so in fourth year you will be getting practicals where you will come to know if it is released then only some muscles will give the graph good graph okay for that relaxation is required same thing suppose if you are done work heavy work you are done for one or two days then third day you will not feel to do any work that means what your muscle will be under stress it is not relaxed so always you should have a stretching or time to time you should have your body stretching or you should have a therapeutic massages okay. so these are the physical stress relief technique which everyone can do this is not something which uh, you cannot do you need something help assistance is required see uh, stress is individual stress it is for only for you and you have to do it to avoid okay. Next, uh, the important point which I would like to tell uh, to manage is uh, be assertive, that is be positive. Always everywhere now, uh, everyone will tell that positive thinking, positive thinking is what? It is uh, self-confidence. You should have positive attitude towards yourself and towards others. Always when you come out of the house you should come up with the positive attitude today i will do something today is a good day okay keep these all things in the mind be assertive self confidence if self confidence is not there then automatically all the stresses will 
come on you. See, see, assertiveness helps us to manage stressful situations and will in time help to reduce their frequency. Lack of, lack of assertiveness often shows less, um, that is self-esteem and low self-confidence. The key of assertiveness is verbal and non-verbal communication. The word communication is very important, which is lacking nowadays because of mobile. If your person is sitting side also, we are sending the message, but we are not talking. What it is? It is what you are not confident. It is not that you are confident, but you have made yourself in the self-esteem. What he will think if I talk? You doesn't have the confidence. Suppose any problems are there, you will not go to the kitchen and ask. You will think you will create your own imagination and you will be going backside. That's why you have to come up with a positive attitude. Extending our range of communication skills. See now the classes are coming for communication skills. Why to pay for that? From birth, we are communicating, everyone is communicating. Only thing is because of these all other technologies, we are not getting that. Now we have to go and learn something for one day to give an interview. We have to have the soft skills. No. Why we want to go? See, it is there inside you. You just, you have to sit. See, now the time is there. You should know what your positive things are there and how you should um, get those all positive things out. See, that is nothing but the be assertive. When a person getting assertive, being assertive, that is very important. It involves standing up for your personal rights. See, in a class, one person is there. We call as a leader, class leader. He will be always what? He will be always uh, uh, fights for something. Okay, why? He is assertive. Okay. So he will fight for something. He will have the thoughts, feelings, whatever he is having, he will tell. Honestly, he will speak. See, now it is very important. If you will not tell what you have or what you are thinking, then it is very difficult to just get expectation from others. See, everyone will think something and we, without telling, we expect that the other person should do. How it is possible? It is not at all possible. So being assertive is very important. So assertive people will be uh, one in the society, will be having a respect themselves and others. They will take responsibilities for actions and choices. Ask openly for what they want. Self-confidence is there. They are not reliant on the approval of others. They have the self. So what are the assertive skills are there? Establish good eye contact. Eye contact means don't stare. Okay. Sir has told to have eye contact. So do go and stare everyone. Okay. So just a good eye contact. When a person is talking in front of you, you should have a proper eye contact. You should stand, stand or sit comfortably. Don't have your body movements. Okay. Uh, body movement means any positive body movements are there that you can do. Talk in a firm Okay, steady voice. Use your body language. This is very important. Non-verbal communication, which we call. Okay, so that is very important. Sometimes if you are feeling difficulty in verbal communication, you can uh, do the work by using non-verbal communication. So what are the benefits? Being positiveness, you will be getting higher self-esteem, less self-conscious, less anxious, manage stress more successfully, appreciate yourself and others more easily, Feelings of self-control. You feel like that, you are controlled. Once you are positive, then other things will be very easy. Easily you can do. The one is organized. The person should be organized. This is another method by which you can uh, reduce your stress. So pure, poor organization, if it is there, that is causes a stress. See, uh, today you are doing so many things. Like three uh, of the seminars, webinars you are going to attend. You need to organize yourself. You need to manage your time also. So when you are organizing yourself in a proper time management and approaches, then everything will be easy. Otherwise, it will be out of the blue. Like you will be doing mess everything. Okay? If it is not there, every books I have kept. Okay? So many times in the uh, how I 
told about the key example of tea. Same way, pen, you will not get one pen because you are not organized. You are not keeping all your um, things properly. Okay? Priorities you have to give. What are important are there? What are the objectives of uh, doing? So we'll be having like a goal setting is there. You'll be having the short goals. You can have the long-term goals. Set it, organize it. Duties, activities which are there that you have to see that how I can manage it, how I can achieve this. Don't get overload your mind. Overload means tomorrow I have to do, day after tomorrow I have to do this much. Another 15 days, this much is I have to do. So don't do these all things. Organize, write something. Okay? If you write properly, see, writing a diary is very good, one. But reading, re rereading is very difficult. So don't do those all things. Just write it and go ahead. Organization will help us to avoid personal and professional jobs. Time management is another one. How you can um, reduce your stress, which is very much lacking in students. I have seen time management is not there while writing the exams also, while attending the classes, while coming to any event. It's very difficult. So you have to watch. You have to make a list. What must be done? What should be done? And how I should do it? Or what would like to conduct? Or what are the problems are there where I'm getting some of the time? I'm wasting the time. These all things you have to remove. Or learn to drop unimportant activities. Say no. Sometimes that is very important. It is not that saying no to the teacher. But if more activities you are doing at a time, then it is very difficult. So that's why I told you identify your limit. How much limit of yours is there to do the work, to accept the challenge. Apart from that, you say it's no. No, I cannot do. But because I have having so many things. So this is very important. Next is don't waste time making excuses for not doing something. Now homework is there. Assignment is there. Journal writing. Simple, simple journal writing I've seen. Students will give so many uh, excuses. But more time. They will based on things. Goals and do the things. Next is ventilation. A problem is uh, shared. A problem is halved. Okay. So if you have the problems and if you're sharing that problems, that problems will be hard. That means you have to have a proper communication. Take the support from your friends, colleagues, talk with. It is not always events that are stressful, but how we perceive them. See, the coordination is important. Cooperation is important. Team management is important. That we should come up with what? On yourself only. So you will solve your problems, the stress also. Always you should have, your family members are there with you. They are not uh, doing something apart from you. Okay? They are always with you. So share the problems. We will come to know what things can be done or easy we will get the solution. Next is a humor that is a laughing. I told it is very good uh, stress reducer. It applies everywhere in the home also. Don't come um, the, with the burden which is there in the college. Take it to the home or uh, job which you are doing. Take that in the home. Come with the humor. Come with a good uh, smile in the face and uh, work everywhere. Okay? Release muscular tension because uh, when you are laughing, muscles will be relaxed. Okay? Heart is energized. Lungs are energized. It will improve the breathing. Okay? Pumps, endorphins. Like endorphins are nothing but the pain. Um, uh, where we are having the pain, those pain, it is like a painkiller only. Okay, so uh, natural body's painkiller, these all are released and you'll be not feeling that. So, always uh, if you're having pain, also you should laugh. And nowadays, we are getting the laughter cl clubs also, they are joining the laughter clubs. Why to join for normal things? I have seen the people are watching the TikTok and uh, TikTok videos. Always, we know that uh, mostly um, they are ha having with some of the humor, but facially. Nothing is there. It is mechanical. Everything is going on mechanical. So if it is mechanical, how you will come up with this, uh, um, this uh, stress management? You cannot manage. Okay? Next is uh, diversion and distraction. Take some diversion in the life. Diversion in means what? Something from the regular activity. Take time out. Get away from the things that bother you. Doesn't solve the problem. But reduces the stress level. Means it is not that you are running from the that particular stress. But you will get something. 
So what it is, you are um, coming with some of the ideas if you come out of that. Suppose if you are solving one problem and if it is not solved, so don't sit to the whole day to solve that. Come out, get relaxed and then calm down and do the work. Calm Same down. thing, if you are talking with somebody, if a conversation is going to the higher side, then calm down. Say him that tomorrow I will talk. Okay, Because uh, you will come to know what things are going on, what whether you are talking properly or no. Okay? What spare steps you are taking? Immediately you will take some steps. Okay, so those that should not be there. So you always you should think logically and behave in the life. Next, give yourself a break. Now everyone has got a long break, but I don't know how much of you are taken it positively. If you taken a positively, then it is very good to achieve your goals. Also, you have um, set so many things. Uh, your life, your planned in this uh, uh, break. But if you're not, then uh, it is uh, the whatever the break is there, that is again a stress, more tension. So that should not be there. So when uh, you are getting a break, like a holiday, it uh, resolves the conflicts, it forgives yourself. You will come to know what mistakes you have done. And you can um, say sorry for yourself also, to others also, when you will take a break. If break is not there, then it is very difficult. That's why always we are having one Sunday, which is kept for a break to know ourselves. But uh, how much we are knowing that is very important. Okay. Next, uh, use uh, your support network like family, friends, support at the work, support at university or college. Online peer support means you are getting so many times websites are there where you will get uh, um, such type of the stress related websites where you will get the problems can be solved or you will be getting some lectures, good lectures are there that online you can see to uh, solve your problems, then uh, if it is not solved, you can just visit your general physician, his uh, family doctor, you can share him so that the condition should not be worse. See, uh, uh, one example which is very bad, which I face that um, this con uh, during this period, one of my students, um, he was uh, totally set, he is of 30-35 uh, age, but suddenly when the case is started in his area, he started thinking about the death. Just he was just daily he was thinking tomorrow if I'll die what will happen to my family? What will happen to my children? These all things he started on his own. He was not sharing and because of him he need to take the medicines. He has started with the blood pressure medicines. He has started with the depression medicines and such things are going on everyone. That's why always you should have communication with all means you should take a support everyone will be having one uh, dependency uh, or you'll be uh, you know who will tell you or where you can say frankly and you will get the result so that should be there so here are the some of the tips uh, to reduce your stress already what we have discussed uh, i will summarize in short once again so identify the sources of um, Stress in your life and accept the responsibilities. Avoid unnecessary stress. Alter the situation. Accept the things uh, we can't change and expect the change. Lauter is very important. Positive thinking, deep breathing, stretching, progressive muscle. Exercise. Just think that what works for you. I think uh, I have done a very uh, simple list and uh, one or other you which will work for you. So start working on that. Either you can give a time with family and friends, listen to music, start singing, reading, prayer, being organized, plan your day, do the yoga, meditation. Just come up with your hobbies. Okay? Hobbies, everyone will be having the hobbies, but we don't know because of so many external stresses are there so come up with your hobbies hobbies are the best medicine to reduce the stress okay? so start with uh, one of the things which are there alternative things are also there to uh, come up like uh, conventional medicines are there counseling is there psychotherapy is there relaxations medicine uh, meditation massage therapy yoga therapy acupuncture aromatherapy protections herbalism Biofeedback mechanisms are there, homeopathy is there, hypnotherapy is there, osteotherapy, religious therapy, reflexology, 
so these are some of the alternative things uh, by which you can come up uh, uh, with the stress background and you can manage your stress so this is all about uh, the stress management so enjoy your life as it comes and always be happy thank you thank you very much sir uh, for your yes yeah, so what you can do is just uh, stop the screen sharing from your side sir yeah yeah thank you very much sir for giving us such a motivational lecture we can say for uh, this particularly stress management uh, right so what we can do is now we'll have a little bit uh, question answering from students if they are willing to ask a question uh, i ask question to the, uh, students to just raise your hand so we can ask a question to sir so he'll be giving your answers yeah anyone student You can share this these slides to students, sir. I have already sent to you. Sure, sure, sir. Uh, yeah. Anybody wants, uh, they can have those things. Sure, sir. Uh, when they will implement, when they will practically do, then only it will be uh, a good. Just listening or uh, a lecture or seminar, everyone will think that this is a good one. Uh -huh. But uh, when you will start practical doing, that is very right. important. That is not. That's right. what the uh, main thing I want that uh, they should change something in their life. Well, it was a very informative session, sir, uh, because the thing that you have taken a tour from how the stress are causing and what actions we have to take really it's a very helpful it will be very helpful for our students so i once again i ask questions uh, i want to ask the students like uh, if you have any question uh, related to stress or any other thing yeah you can just please ask to sir you can just raise your hand so i can unmute you and uh, you can ask the question yeah pawan masar you want to ask a question very went <laughs> any time or any time also if they want to ask uh, give my uh, cell number also they can uh, have uh, or share their problems to me i will uh, surely help them out okay? sure so sure sure give sir. my whatsapp number okay? it's right. not uh, related to this part only anything related to the life or uh, related to studies also i am always available for the students because as a teacher it's my first role to uh, work with the students very nice sir. actually our students are also eager to be you know uh, having such sessions actually let me tell you students uh, sir is also a very good motivational speaker uh, as i have heard about him a lot actually so uh, very next time anytime if you have if you get a, such a good time again of uh, webinars and all that definitely we'll arrange for a motivation uh, session from sir uh, yeah uh, one student want to ask a question that is uh, rehan rehan you can unmute yourself and you can ask a question yeah carry on rehan yes sir hello sir yeah hello uh, sir uh, my question is whenever you are uh, you are in a stress situation sir uh, talking with ourselves uh, will be good motivative or not sir so when you talk with yourself it is uh, not motivative it is a mm, sign of a stress which is there so when you are talking with yourself you are not getting the solutions See, uh, you should know what what is the uh, stress is there. Then you should uh, uh, find the solutions. When you talk, you will start re, uh, raising your thoughts. See, once you are having a stress, means one single thought power is there. When you talk talk for yourself, you will create lots of thoughts. So don't have more thoughts. Let it be one thought, and in that one thought, you will work. If you start talking, you will be talking some of the positive or negative also. But if you create more thoughts which are negative, then it is very difficult. The situation will go worse and stress will be more. Okay, so it is uh, very much uh, important that you can write it, what stress you are having and think that how you can manage it. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Rehan, for your question. Uh, someone uh, named with B, I don't know, raising hand. So you can unmute your mic and you can ask a question. The person who is B actually. 
रेहान म्यूट यू माइक सर या गुड आफ्टरनून सर सर इफ देयर इज कन्फ्यूजन बिटवीन टू टू थिंग्स देन हाउ कैन वी ओवरकम फ्रॉम इट दैट इज कॉल्ड आई एज आई टोल्ड दैट बैलेंसिंग ओके बी पॉजिटिव एंड बैलेंस सी ऑलवेज द टू थिंग्स आर देयर इन द लाइफ ऑलवेज लाइक स्टूडेंट्स आई विल गिव अ एग्जांपल ऑफ इफ पेरेंट्स आर देयर एंड इफ यू आर हैविंग अ गर्लफ्रेंड देन इट विल इट्स वेरी डिफिकल्ट ओके और after marriage also mother and wife it's balancing means you cannot uh, do this thing uh, you cannot uh, neglect one but you have to balance that's why i told that you no know, you have to cope up with that stress and go on ahead that is called as a one way of being positiveness okay? so suppose conflicts are there difficulties are there or you are getting conflicts so to identify which conflicts are there okay? so two things are there which will be better for you that you can choose it the other one you can leave see uh, leaving a problem that is also good one sometimes okay? so instead of taking two things at a time and uh, if you are going then it is very difficult so what we can in marathi we can tell that ekat mehnat don talwari apan ghalu shakat nahi tashi paristhiti hote ekat kadachit manun apan he kela pahije thank you okay thank you sir yeah snehal she want to ask a question snehal Nehal, she went out somewhere. She was raising her hand. Yeah, students, if you are okay, a little bit shy to ask in English, you can also ask in Marathi. Not an issue. Sir is also familiar with Marathi language. Okay, so anybody you want to ask in Marathi, also you can carry on. Yeah, any student? yeah fine yeah thank you everyone so uh, uh i think we will end up over here so uh, before ending the session let me give a vote of thanks for this today's webinar so uh, it's my great pleasure to give vote of thanks uh, to dr kangrakal sir on behalf of uh, anasab dange college of uh, pharmacy asta so i'd like to thanks our management executive director our principal who gave us such a wonderful platform okay and always motiv motivating us for uh, such kind of uh, uh, webinars and uh, many other programs uh, i'd also like to thanks the team of webinar may 2020 the convener the co-convener the chief convener uh, for having the support time to time for carrying out this uh, uh, webinar smoothly i also like to thanks all the staff members of anasab dange college of pharmacy who are taking enthusiastically part in this particular these sessions and of course students uh, i'd like to thanks very much that you people have listened this uh, uh, webinar very curiously and seriously thank you very much sir before ending the session uh, we have uh, uh, e certificate which has been provided so let me share you this e certificate sir Uh, so this is a uh, appreciation certificate from uh, Anasab Dange College of Pharmacy to you. So uh, very thank you much that you have given your valuable time for this seminar. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Yeah. yeah. Once we'll have one photo session, sir. So I request all yeah. the students that please uh, on your uh, video. So we'll have a photo session, please, everyone. Yeah, fine. Just everyone, just look up to your camera.
Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much, sir. And thank you very much, students. So I can say uh, this is the end of uh, today's webinar. Uh, definitely, I think you people have liked this webinar, uh, stress management. And you people will work out on this, what is the sir, sort of sir have told us, okay? uh, which are the points we have to come out from the stress. Definitely, you people will work on that. Especially now, final year students actually might be, they will be very much stressful where the exam will be, how it will be and all that. So don't worry about that anything, okay? Definitely you come out from the stress and everything will be fine, okay? Thank you very much, sir. Thank, Thank you for your cooperation. You. Yeah. So you, good day, students. So you can, uh, free to join the other sessions of uh, today's uh, seminar. Even three o'clock, we have one of the best seminar. You can also join at three o'clock. Thank you very much, students. Okay? Okay, you can leave now. Good day, everyone. Bye-bye.